hey guys welcome back to another video welcome if you're new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video so for today's video i'm finally gonna be unboxing my kiara sky pr package i did have this for over about two weeks now and i've been itching to unbox this and finally i'm gonna be showing you guys what i have so before we get started just a quick little story so if you don't know about the kiara sky ambassadors um they have like this ambassador tier and like when i first started working with kiara sky i was only on tier one but they gave me the opportunity to move up in a tier so that's super exciting i will be having more products to show you guys and just working with them a lot more and i cannot wait because from what i work with so far kiara sky's brand is just so amazing and with the tier increase i do have a chance to earn commission now so whenever you guys use my referral link i will get a small commission so that would be so helpful if you guys click the link and it's always linked down below in my description box along with my other referral codes and links and everything so let's just go ahead and get right into everything that i have so first and foremost i do want to say kara sky never fails with this gorgeous packaging like with everything i pulled out i just wanted to mention how gorgeous the packaging was but i'm not gonna do that just know that i really really loved everything how it's packaged but yeah this first item here is a black gel liner and this is a part of their glow in the dark collection whenever i first started working with them the collection of the glow in the dark gel liners it was one of the first things i received from them and i do remember saying they were gonna send me all colors but for some reason the black wasn't included so it's good now that i have the black for the complete collection this next item here is another set of gel liners and i'm not sure what the name of this is but it has a bunch of different like spring colors a very very pretty pastel vibe again i'm not gonna go on about the packaging but this is just so so gorgeous um over on the back as you just saw it has these swatches and the colors of them um and then yeah so now i'm just gonna take them out and show you guys what they look like the names of them the names were super unique i love the names of all of them and i'm just gonna give you a quick twirl around the bottle so you see what these colors look like and they are absolutely gorgeous also i did want to mention that i did have a chance to pick out all of these products that i am receiving so yeah i just wanted to mention that i feel like kara's got is just one of those brands where you just get like the whole package from the the cute aesthetic packaging the great quality products um like it's just overall so nice and with their packaging i feel like they have so much detail and even from like their content over on the instagram like it's just so professional nice looking like how could you not like kiara sky um so far it is becoming one of my favorite brands to use as you can tell i've been posting them a lot more and yeah i'm just so obsessed to be honest moving on to this next product here so i'm gonna keep it along of the gel products i do have a few more to show you guys so I did pick out this gel polish here, which is a 15 ml bottle, and this color is called Staycation. Over on the side, it shows you the directions, the warnings, and ingredients, and it's also cruelty-free. So yeah, this is how the packaging looks. I do have a couple um, Kara Sky polishes already, maybe like one or two besides the gel liners that I have. But yeah, so far I do love how they are, but I will explain or give my other opinions later on in the video when I do use these products. Um, this next product here is a non-white top coat. Of course, it is essential whether you are doing poly gel, acrylic gel X, you do want to have a nice gel glossy top coat to go over your design. Make sure it's protected and has no streaking or cloudiness. The next product here I'm showing you guys is another non-white top coat, but it is a little bit different. So as you can see here, it does say rub on non-white top coat and essentially this is for their rub on chrome powders i have been getting a lot of chrome powders lately and i've been loving using them i love the way that it looks on the nails and when i saw this on the website i had to try it even though essentially chrome powder does work with about every top coat i just wanted to try this to see if it would work better or if it's any different um as you saw there it does has the instructions on it it says to apply it wherever you want the chrome powder to be cure for 30 seconds rub on the chrome powder and then add another layer and cure for 60 seconds i'm kind of curious to know if you could actually just use this as a regular top coat in the directions it does kind of imply that you can just finish off your nail sets with this but i will be testing that out at a later date so moving on to this next product here i did pick out a jelly tip builder gel um gel and this is the step three in their gel x kit 
course it has the directions on it and this is what you would use to apply the jelly tips from Kara Sky. Um, and it is a builder gel so it does have a thicker consistency compared to top coats or base coats and the thicker consistency just allows you to have that stronger bondage when you are applying them and curing them um, especially if you want your nails to last longer and be very durable so yeah, i cannot wait to try that out since i do have the third step of the builder gel of course i did pick out some of their jelly tips and i'm so excited for these I've been really into gel tips lately, even the shorter lengths, like I've just been loving the process. You guys love them. They do very well on my channel. They're super quick and easy. So I had to pick these out to pair with the Step 3 Builder Gel. And as you can see, I did get the square shape and the medium length. I do believe this was the longest length on their website. So I just went with these to try them out for the first time. I didn't go crazy grabbing a lot of them just because I wanted to test these out first. So here's how the nails look inside of the case. When I opened them, I did expect them to be a little bit longer. Like since I do love my nails a little bit longer, I guess I kind of just expected them to be a little bit longer. To me, these felt like short nails instead of medium. Like I just cannot wait for a brand to come out with longer jelly tips for the longer nail girlies because all of the brands I've tried so far with these jelly tips or like Gel X method, all of the tips have been super short. I don't know if there's a reason for them being short like this, but I just cannot wait for a brand to come out with longer nails. Um, but getting back to this nail, I do love how they have the Kara Sky logo near the cuticle area. That's such a cute design. Also, here's just the overall look of this nail. I love the C curve. It's not too deep and it's not too flat either. The cuticle area is thin out how you want it to be. You don't want that part to be bulky at all. And then here, I'm just doing the bend test. I don't know like what you can tell from this bend test, but I did have someone comment under one of my other GeoX videos saying how they wish I did the bend test to test it out. Um, but here I bent it and it did have the white cast in the middle, but I was super surprised when I unbent it and it went back clear. So I don't know what you can tell from that bend test. Let me know down below because there's still some things I don't really know, um, but I'm pretty sure that is a good sign. Also, I did want to mention these nails are meant to last up to three weeks. So if you do want to have nails that last long, these will be perfect for you. So now that I've taken a look at these nail tips, overall, I feel like the quality of these are just so amazing. But let's just go ahead and get right into these next few products. So I did pick out two of their sprinkle on glitters and I did pick out a holo, like a holographic rainbow reflective one, which is this one here. This is a rub on glitter, which is called Holo Grill. Such a cute name. And this is just like that classic rainbowish holographic glitter i love the size of it um and with these you can incorporate them into um encapsulated designs you can sprinkle them on and have sugar nail effects pretty much anything you want to do and i just love it. it's so so gorgeous also i do love the size of these little jars they aren't super huge but if you are just using them to encapsulate into your acrylic designs or poly gel designs sprinkling them on it will last you a very long time the second one here I got is a purple glitter and I love the way it matches my gloves. Super cute. I cannot wait to use these. And I did use one in today's video so if you want to see how I used it stay tuned for that. The last two final products I'm going to show are these acrylic powders. And these are actually two in one powders where you can use them as dip powder if you prefer that. Or you can use them as acrylic powder which is what I will be using them as. But of course one day I will be testing these powders out as dip powder as well. But I do want to get their full dip system before I try them out. That way I can have all of the products working together to really see how these products work. Um, but yeah I just love the overall look of this jar. Of course you can see it from like the 360 side view but I love that it has an open window at the top of the lid as well that way you can see how it looks like I just love these no matter how you have these displayed you will see what color is going to be and I did pick out a light green and then also their milky white which is a previous new release and I cannot wait to do my nails with them I've already had something planned which I may film in my next video I'm not sure but I cannot wait to try that out yeah, that concluded my nail haul from Kara Sky. It's just super exciting to be getting more products from Kara Sky. Like I said, I really love their brand. 
and I will be working with them a lot more. So if you do love these Kara Scott videos, let me know down below in the comments. All of these products will be linked down below along with my referral link if you guys want to check them out. But right now I'm just starting with some cuticle prep, just pushing back my cuticles. Now I wasn't going to show this in today's video i was going to give it a totally separate video but since we do have a lot of kira Scott products i just decided to include it as well so this is their new release which is their small mandrel drill bit and one thing about this it is just so adorable so here's the size comparison from the original size on the right with the new size on the left at first i was thinking like why would they need a small mandrel drill bit but just like their promotion says size does matter and i absolutely love this new drill bit and i'll show you how i use it in a few seconds and just in case you were wondering it come with all new sanding bands of course for the smaller fit they are available in fine grit medium and coarse available in black and white so whichever you prefer you can have the freedom to choose and I'm just going to be using it to prep my nails to go around that cuticle area and also to remove that shine from my natural nails. So with this new release, like I mentioned, size does matter. And with this teeny powerhouse, it's about to be a game changer and take the nail industry to new heights. Because for one, it helps with precision and versatility. With its smaller size, the small mandrel drill bit offers enhanced control and precision. It's perfect for intricate nail work, jelly tips, cuticle work, and more. It also helps with perfectly polished results. If you have rough edges and uneven edges, it works perfectly for that. The small mandrel drill bit helps you achieve smooth and flawless nail with ease. It gives you a seamless application when you are applying gel tips. When you want to go around that cuticle, the bigger size may not be able to get like where you need them to fit. So using this smaller one, it really helps. Also, it helps with effortless cleanup if you have anything like acrylic underneath your nail where the bigger mandrel bit won't fit this smaller one is gonna fit right into that area perfectly and it will clean all of that up so if you want to check it out like i said it will be linked down below in my description box um and yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and start my design so like you guys saw i did go ahead and apply my peel off base because i have a lot of content to film i'm not gonna keep these on for long um, but once I did apply that, I'm going to start by picking out my sizes and there's not really much to picking out your sizes. The main thing you want to focus on when you are picking out your full cover tips or jelly tips, you want to make sure that the nails fit sidewall to sidewall. If you don't want to have them too small or too big either. You want them to fit perfectly. Also, if you have trouble with the cuticle area not fitting, you can customize them to to fit your cuticle um, just by rounding them out but for these Kara Sky ones they seem to fit nicely very very nicely around my cuticle area so I didn't have a problem with that I just went ahead and picked them out now moving on to this next product here I do have something else new from Kara Sky well it's not new from Kara Sky but it's new to me as you see I'm just unboxing it and I did actually win this in a giveaway a while ago. I was just waiting until I get more Kiara Scott products to show. And since I am going to be using their jelly tips, I'm going to be trying this out as well. So over on the back of the packaging, here's everything you need to know about this Beyond Pro Flash Cure LED lamp. It's portable and lightweight. It has a reset timer, 60 and 45 seconds. It has a mini adapter. It's LG technology. It's acetone resistant, UV coating, and it does have two two LED curing bulbs. So we are a little bit further in the video than I want it to be. So I'm just gonna quickly open this and show you everything that it comes with. And then we can get into applying our jelly tips. So it comes with a warranty card and of course the instructions. Whenever I see people using this Kiara Sky Beyond Pro Mini Light, I always see good reviews on it, how it cures very nicely and just everything. One thing I noticed about this is that it comes with its own adapter like the box said and that's pretty rare because any of these like Kiran Likes, it comes with the light itself and it also comes with a short cord and never the adapter so you have to adjust things and you have to get your own adapter wall piece 
And I just feel like sometimes it is inconvenient, especially if you already have a lot of things plugged up that you need plugged up. So you don't want to have to like unplug something just for it to work. So that was really nice to have its own adapter. From what I noticed about anything new I got from Kira Sky, they are going to have everything you need in that one package, which I can honestly just appreciate so much. And also the cord was super long compared to any of the other lights that I received or tried before. And it's just super nice because usually I would have to adjust items on my nail area just for it to fit where it needs to fit, which is super annoying. So this long cord was appreciative. I really love it. And also what I was testing out a few seconds ago, I didn't mention it while it was happening, but the button on the back of this um, light, it does work, which I really like because all of the other lights, you can't really turn them off. And of course, if you are using this, then you will be working with gel products and just having this sitting on the whole time you may not like realize but you may have items sitting too close to it and it just cures and mess up in the bottle or a container and i wouldn't want that to happen to anyone so it is just so nice to where you can turn it off whenever you want to just to keep that mistake from happening but yeah now i'm just applying my jelly tips of course like i always do put in some gel inside of that tip area and then starting from my cuticle area adding pressure towards the tip once I have it on straight, I just hold it under the lamp for about 15 seconds to allow it to flash cure. And I don't know what I was thinking, like I did this all in one sitting, the unboxing and the nails. So it was like fresh on my mind, but I don't know what I was thinking. I didn't use the builder gel that I unboxed and showed you guys. For some reason, I forgot I even had it. So I did use something else to apply them, um, but I will test that out in another video. But yeah, once I had them on and all flash cured, I did take out my bigger light, which is also from Kira Sky, and cured them for a full 60 seconds just to make sure everything was nice and cured on. Now I'm going to be taking a nail file and just filing down the free edge. One thing about Kira Sky files is that I try to like them, but it's just something about them that I don't like. They always feel gummy and I just feel like it's not working how I want it to work or whether how I expect it to work. Whether I'm working with acrylic, poly gel, jelly tips, like it just doesn't like have enough grip for me. Like I don't know how to explain it other than it feels really soft and gummy on my nail when I'm filing. So as you see, eventually I did switch to my favorite files, which are the Pana 8080 files. And I just went ahead and continue filing them down. I try not to file too much just because I didn't want them to be even shorter than they are. So I just went ahead and did what I could. Once I finish filing the free edge of them, I'm going to be taking the new manager drill bit again in a sanding band and just clean, cleaning up around my cuticles. And like I mentioned, it does help give the nails a more sleek and professional look, especially if you want them to look as if the tips are growing out of your actual nail bed. This is a very important step not to skip. And like I was mentioning, it does help with precision. So I felt like I was able to get around those cuticle areas just a little bit more than I am with my original size. Because sometimes with my bigger one, I am hitting my skin a lot. And whenever I cannot really get like where I want it to get, I just end up giving up. So with this smaller size, I was able to get around the cuticle area just how I wanted to. And also once I finish, I'm just going to go ahead and remove the shine from over the entire nail. And once I finish removing all of that spillage and selling the cuticles in, then we are ready to start our design. And here's what we are working with so far. Um, we are done messing with these nail tips. I do feel like I wanted them to be a little bit more square instead of rounded. But since I didn't want to make them a lot shorter, I just 
did what I could with the shaping. But now I'm just gonna go ahead and start my design and it's gonna be super simple so I don't plan to talk a lot within the rest of the video um, and just let you guys enjoy the rest of it. But for starters, I am gonna be taking this staycation color which is a gorgeous light nude. And I'm gonna be going over all of my nails with this same color. I did wanna talk about Kara Scott gel polishes for a quick second. When it comes to these polishes, I feel like they aren't the best in the coverage, especially if you are like a one coat type of person. Um, like as you can see, it's like really light, it's kind of streaky in some areas. So you will have to go over it with the second coat. Some colors aren't as bad as others. I guess it all just depends on what you prefer and what look you are going for. Um, but one thing about it, since it's not like super heavy, the coverage isn't like super bold. These polishes are very, very lightweight. And personally, I feel like you can add up to four layers and the nails will not look bulky at all. That is just how lightweight they are. And I think that's a good thing. Like you don't want something that's too heavy and super like pigmented where it's not gonna cure as evenly. And what it all comes down to is just whatever you like for your nails. Um, although these are great in my opinion, I do like them. I don't mind going over with the second coat. I do that for a lot of polishes anyway. So just having that extra lightweight feel just makes me have a more cleaner and sleek look to the nails. So once I finished curing on my first layer, I cured for 60 seconds and then I added a second layer and also cured for another 60. For the design, I'm going to be using these pastel gel liners and I'm going to be doing some simple French tips just because I wanted to incorporate all of the colors on these shorter nails. I feel like Frenches always look super nice. So I'm just going to be taking each of the colors and doing some simple Frenches. So when it came to some of these colors, and you will see it especially on this next color here, which I'm going to be using is the yellow. This color here is a little watery. I kept having problems with like the coverage. It was a little marbly. No matter how much I wipe off the excess, it was just like drooping down. Again, they do have that lightweight feel, but I feel like this is a little bit more concerning than the other polish. Um, For this yellow one, I feel like this one was the only one that really gave me problems. So in between like me trying to get this down, I did put the top back on, shake it up, give it a twirl of my hands just to see if it was just the polish separating the ingredients. Unfortunately, nothing I did seemed to work and you can really see it in like this um, droplet here on my glove. The color looks really separated. I don't know why the yellow one was like that. I guess it's just a bad mix. I'm not sure, but the other colors were great. I didn't have a problems with them at all. But I did want to mention that and now I'm just going to go ahead and continue adding on my Frenches. And also I am curing for 30 seconds before moving on to the next nail. So now that I have all of my fringes applied, they look so cute and I love this color selection. I'm going to be going over all of my nails with the no wipe top coat and then I'm going to cure for 60 seconds.
So for this next part in my design, I'm going to be taking some alcohol and a lint-free wipe just to wipe over my nails. Um, and the reason I'm doing this is because I did my thumb off camera and I did experience some difficulties. So I just kind of switched some things up just to keep that from happening. But once I did wipe over my nails, I'm going to be taking a liner brush and using more of that top coat. And I'm just going to be putting a line of that along my smile line area. I don't want this line to be super thick, just simple line going along my smile line and then i'm not going to carry on but i'm going to be taking my hollow grill sprinkle on glitter and i'm going to be sprinkling some along that wet gel once i get it all applied i'm going to tap off the excess and cure for about 15 seconds and then remove the excess When I was removing the excess dust, I still saw a little bit of a problem with the glitter stick in places I didn't want it to stick, but it wasn't like completely um, cured in place. So I just went ahead and took my thumbnail and just scraped it off the places I didn't want it to be. And it turned out nice, but before going over the other nails with that gel polish, I am making sure to do a fresh wipe with the alcohol just to keep that problem minimized as possible. And then I go in along the smile line, adding that gel and just adding all my glitter, curing, and I'm going to repeat this over all of my nails until I'm complete with this nail set. So as you guys see here, I am just rubbing in some cuticle oil and the cuticle oil I'm using is also from Kira Sky. Their rose scent, it smells amazing. I went ahead and rubbed that into my cuticles and this is how the finished nails turn out. I just think these are so cute and adorable. I love the length of these with these colors. Like I said, Frenches are always so cute, but when you add a pop of color like this, it just takes it to a whole new level. I really love the shades of the gel liners. I wanted to use them a little bit earlier in the spring, but now that summer is approaching, a lot of summer nails are happening, so I just kind of have to keep up with the trends. So I wanted to use them before it was too late, and this is what the nails look like. Like I said, so cute, super adorable. I just love all of the products I showed you guys in today's video. Like I said, I will be showing more Kara Scott products. Let me know how you are liking these videos. And let me know how you enjoyed today's nail set. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.